Hi, this is Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tammy's Crafty Life. This video is going to be about uh, cross stitch. This is a floss tube video. I have one fun thing at the end that I made that's not cross stitch, but everything else will be. Um, it's only been two weeks since my last video, so this one should be shorter. I don't have as much to share as I did before. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. I don't have any finishes. I have a couple that are close to finishes. And they'll hopefully be finished by next time. But I have one new start. I showed you this pattern last time as a haul, part of my haul. This is called Be Nice by Primrose Cottage Stitches. Oh, don't want to get too close. And then I, I, it says Be Nice or Buzz Off. I think it's really cute. However, I don't like this color of green. So I changed the colors and I'll show you what mine looks like. So in, I didn't just change the greens, I changed the yellows also. So I think it's turning out pretty. It's really almost done. Um, when I started today, I worked on this for part of today, I had buzz done and then realized that the second Z was too far away so I had to frog it and then I, I stitched all the rest of it this afternoon. So this one is a lot of fun. I think it's really pretty. So that was my one new start. I have um, several whips that I've worked on since the last time. This one is by Plum Street Samplers and it's called Corgi Caboodle. I'm making this for my daughter who loves corgis. She has a corgi and loves them. And her corgi looks like the little puppy that's sitting on top of the back of the middle dog. So. That is that. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it. Probably not as a pillow because I don't think she would appreciate it as a pillow. I might do a flat fold or I might frame it. I'm not positive. This one's still in its Q-snap so I apologize for that. Um, I don't like to take stuff in and out of the Q-snaps while I'm working on them. So here's where I am. The longest part was the two big corgis. It was a lot of fill-in. And now I'm working on the grass, but the rest is just flowers. I think the rest is going to go really fast. Excuse me. Um, so hopefully that will be done soon. Uh, the other thing I worked on was I've been working on this Emma Condon. Congdon. Congdon. How do you say her last name? Got a G in it. Congdon. I've been working on this. This was a stitch along with Stitch Again Sam. And she started this on the first day of spring last year. And it's got four seasons on it and then each the first day of each season she started that season so I started on the first day of summer so what I have left is spring I just have this part here left uh, <clears throat> excuse me this is the book that it's in cross stitch for the earth there's some really fun pictures in here so I did start on my spring on the first day of spring and this is where I'm at and spring is over over here so I just did part of this tree and I did these little uh, I think they're frogs or something at the bottom um, the good thing about this pattern is that it moves really fast so once I get back to it I should be able to finish it in a short period of time so I could have possibly three finishes by my next video maybe that one might not be done by then and then uh, next in line are my two projects that I had for, or one of my projects that I had for WhipGo was Love My Dog Sampler by the Victoria Sampler. I started in the middle, which is right here. This is one over one words. And I didn't get very far. I got those words done. And that was all I got done. It says, a heart as big as all outdoors, best friends throughout the years. So that's my, that's how far I got on that, on this sampler. This is 28 count, light blue, even weave. Yeah, I think it might be Hobby Lobby even weave. And then I also worked on Mousecapades. This is by... Misty Purcell, who is Luminous Fiber Arts, and she's doing a stitch along. And this is number one of Mousecapades. 
and she did hers on a 32 count linen. I started on it and really did not like it. I determined I don't, don't like linen at all. So I went through my fabric stash and I came up with this 16 count Ada that is by Be Stitch Me and it's called Frost. And some of the colors don't show quite as well, but I love this color and I think they're turning out really cute. You can see my little penguin needle minder. That is from, oh, now I forgot the name there in Europe. Can't remember. But this one's almost done. I need to finish the water and then there's a string of lights. I gotta do the little um, the windows and door in the house and finish the border with the light green color and then I'll be done with this one. Um, she's releasing two patterns at a time. So I have one and two and I can't remember when three and four come out. I need to go look at her website and see so I can plan for it. Uh, my other WIPCO project was Cat Bookshelf. This is by Randall Spangler, Heaven and Earth Designs. I like cats. I love cats and I like all the colors in this. And the last time I showed this to you, I had a line across here that I needed to frog. So I did do that. And then I put in a lot of this blue and I put in that square there. This is 25 count easy grid. And it's really tiny so it doesn't look like a lot of accomplishment, but there is I think there's like a thousand stitches in here, maybe. Maybe. I didn't look. but And this is done. I have this in Pattern Keeper. I have the chart in Pattern Keeper. And the Kitty Needle Minder. That is from the Fat Quarter Shop. And then the last one I worked on is by Sugar Stitches. And it's called the January Sampler. And I mentioned before... I was a little disappointed in the pattern cover because it's a mock-up. It doesn't show it actually stitched. So it's interesting to watch it grow as I stitch it. And this is on 28 count mushroom Lugana. And let's see, I can do this, I think. So this is where I'm at. I'm really loving this. So I've just done the middle. I'm, right now I'm working on the white that's on the word. Um, the white doesn't... Well, it shows up okay close up, I guess. From a distance... I don't know. It depends on the light, I guess. Because I w thought it wasn't showing very well, but now it looks like it is showing pretty well. So, I don't know. It's weird. So that's all of the whips I've worked on since my last uh, video a couple of weeks ago. Seems like there were more, but um, some days I worked on four in one day. I have this planner that's a goal planning planner, and I don't really do goal planning for the most part. If you know me very well, you'll know I bought it because it's purple. And the way I use it is, this is my March layout, and I write in every day what I stitch on. And my work, write in when I work and stuff. Um... So you can see some of the days, like yesterday, right, right there, I worked on four different things during the day. I have started having a, a evening stitch in my chair, and that's how I've been working on my corgi caboodle. Let's see, so, put this down. What else do I have to show you? Whipco. I've talked about Whipco before. That is, um, there's a floss tuber. Her name is Jessie Marie Does Stuff. That's her floss tube name. And she started this, I don't know how many years ago, where you create a board. It's kind of like bingo, and she calls two numbers every month, and those are the two projects you work on. I'll show you my board. This is my board. So I have 24 projects on there. The yellow ones are the ones for the previous months where I've completed them. And now we're getting ready to start April. And there's two projects that she chose. Um, two numbers she pulled. The numbers she pulled are 7 and 10. And so for me, 
the projects I have on my board. I have mixed feelings about these, but I'll show you what they are. One is this called, this is the, it's made by Happy Mood Point. This is on Etsy, and it's just called SS065 Sampler. And this one also appears to be a mock-up. It's not a picture of an act the actual sampler stitched. And I'm stitching it on fabric that I dyed, this pretty purple fabric. I only have like seven stitches or something in there. But I chose these lost colors, purple and blue and some green. And then my other one, the other one that was called for me is Summer in the Village by Stony Creek. And I worked on this one for quite a while last year, and what I got done was this one. Um, this is the, what's it called? I haven't done the letters yet, so no. What's it called? This is the bed and breakfast. And that's how far I got on this one. It needs to have its back stitching, and then right here is where it says bed and breakfast. I have mixed feelings about Whipgo because it seems like every month so far this year what's been called has been things that I wasn't really thrilled about. Well January had stable mates and I love that one. Um, and then February had the plum pudding um, Clarendon, Clarendon Place, is that what it's called? That I was excited about. The rest of them I haven't been excited about and these two are not really exciting to me now so I'm trying to decide if I want to switch them because Jesse Marie's rules are your board your rules so I can change it however I want. So I'm trying to decide um, the Happy Mood Point Sampler. I mean I like looking at the threads just looking at them laying there they're beautiful but there are other pictures I'd rather be working on one of the pictures that is not on my Whipgo board is the Flamingo one I showed you last month. It's kind of funny. Funny side note. I didn't think my sister watched my videos. And she asked me about the Flamingo picture. So she watched my last video. It's for her for a gift. So that was it. Uh, it that was interesting. Um, so I might put the Flamingo one in there. Or I might just add the Flamingo picture to my calendar every month. Because her birthday's in December, and I would like to finish it by then. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so that's my feelings on Whipgo. I'm not really sure. I'm not really feeling either one of those. And my goals on Whipgo is that I work on each project for five days. If it's one stitch or a thousand stitches, it's five days. It's one, one day is that I put any stitches in it. Excuse me. So, <clears throat> I haven't decided yet. Um, I have the whole month of April. I don't have to start tomorrow just, or today, whenever you're seeing this, just because it's April 1st. I'm filming on March 31st, but I'm filming at 11.30 at night. So, basically it'll be April 1st when this is um, posted. <clears throat> so, that's it about Whipgo. Um, my plans for April, is, of course, to work on something for Whipco, as I need to decide for sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to change it or do the ones that I have listed. I want to keep working on the Mousecapades because that is a stitch along. I want to finish the first one and figure out when three and four come out to know how much I need to get done on the second one. I want to continue to work on Emma Congdon and the Corgi Caboodle. Those two I think I can finish, so I want to finish those in April. Um, the other one I think I can finish. I thought I had three. Oh, the January sampler. I would like to finish it in April, but I'm not sure. I, it's not a rush because January is gone. I purchased January through April, so I should purchase like May, June, July, and August 
I should purchase the rest of them and be working on one that I can finish before that month gets here so I can display it. That's what I should do. Who knows if I will, but I should. Um, and then my possible starts are, this is one of my haul, something from my haul. I was watching I Don't Remember Who and they showed this picture and it's another Heaven and Earth Decide Designs. It's called The Witching Hour and it's, the artwork is by Lisa Parker. It's a mini so it's only going to be 9 by 13 when it's finished if I stitch it on 25 count fabric. I might stitch it on 18 count, I'm not sure, but this is it. And it has a lot of blocks of color. And because it's so much smaller than the rest of my Heaven and Earth designs, I might start it this month. I'm not sure. I love cats, and I just think it's a really pretty picture. Although it's not colors I'm normally drawn to. It's all dark colors. But So I might start that in April. Um, I might start... What did I do with him? Hold out. might start the Blue Eyed Cheshire Cat. It's also Heaven and Earth Designs. This one is by Anthony Christo. I am not really into Alice in Wonderland, but when I saw this picture, it just called to me because of all the colors in it and the, the blossoms are very pretty. It uses 90 colors, and this one is huge. This one, if I do it on 25 count, it'll finish at 20 by 28 and a quarter. So that is a pretty big picture. It's 500 wide by 707 high for the stitch count. So I might start that one. I'm not sure. I don't really need any more full coverage pictures. I need to work on the ones I started, but... That hasn't stopped me from starting anything new. Um, and then there's two others in my haul that I'm trying to decide between them. What did I do? Oh, that one I changed my mind. So <clears throat> let me show you my new purchases since the last video. Just today in the mail, I got my Be Stitch Me fabric. And this one is, I switched my subscription. I get 32 count. Um, Lugana and this one is called cinnamon it's very pretty it's showing a little lighter but it's a really pretty color it's a really warm pretty color <clears throat> I got my um, Nutcracker Village monthly thing in the mail. This is Snow Queen's Ice Cream Parlor. I haven't started this yet, but I'm getting all of them in the mail. And then I got some stuff from Stony Creek. I had seen in the back of one of the magazines, I had seen these two books, these two leaflets, and I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I purchased them. This one is Believe Snow Friends Banner. I think they're both beautiful. I should stitch them both eventually. Although I noticed they have the same snowman in them. And then this one is Christmas. Snow Friends Banner. So they're really a lot alike. So I don't know if I should stitch both of them. I think I decided to start with this one because I'm more of a blue person. So we'll see. That one might get started this month. I also got uh, this Be Thankful. Which is a very cute little pattern. And then they have free patterns every month. And this one, I think, is the free one I got. This is called Believe. It's, in, it's simply inspirational. And I think, I can't remember what the others are that you can get at different months. But I really like that. And then I got these three patterns together. Um, there's Friends, Family, and Faith. And this one is Friends. But you can see right there how they put them together. Only that. Um, finishing way is no longer available through Stony Creek so I'm not sure how I can finish them so that they are 
all together like that because I really like that. And here's a better picture of it on the back. I really like the way that looks. So I'm not sure what I'll do. And then here is Faith. So that, I think, oh, that's not all in my house. So that was my Stony Creek. And then I think I mentioned last video, I had ordered some stuff from 141 Design Company. She makes very fun wooden things with a laser cutter. So I bought some pieces from her. And they're shrink wrapped in plastic, so I'm not going to take them apart. Because um, I'm not ready to do them yet. But this is the first one. This is a barn. This piece is separate. So you can finish it, finish them separately. And, you know, you can paint that different. And it makes it three-dimensional. She has a video on how she painted these. I will link her below. And then I got this one. This one is not shrink wrapped together. But this is just a little small. That's supposed to go in there. Oh, there we go. This is a little small stand. For finishing. And then this one is made because of the Fat Quarter Shop. The Summer um, Cross Stitch Quarterly. It was a fun popsicle picture, and Chantel made this for it. I haven't stitched that yet, but seeing this made me want to. And there's all these separate pieces. Tiny little popsicles. This is a, the accent, and there's a bite out of it. And Chantel is very nice. Um, I enjoy her videos, and when I messaged her a question on uh, through Etsy, she answered me immediately on a Sunday afternoon. And this one is a beehive. And she finished one of the Primrose Cottage bee pictures on it. And that made me want to get this. It has multiple pieces also. And then the last one that I have is a stand. This is 18 inches tall. And it's, for, and it's got a base. And you can hang. Your, you can finish your projects with a way to hang them on here. There's also a small stand that is on its way to me that is uh, maybe 12 inches tall, but this lets me have a spot to hang things in a, um, on a desk where I can switch them out whenever I want to. So that was my, um, that was 141 Design Company and I really like her stuff. And then the last thing that I got was two of these boxes. I got them on Amazon. Um, it's the size of a shoebox, and I was wanting to organize my fabric, and I made the mistake of doing this part before the boxes came. The box said it was eight inches wide, so I figured if I folded these like seven to seven and a half, they would fit. So I went through all my fabrics and did this, I folded them and I wrote on them the stitch count and what they are and um, and the inside is only seven inches wide so most of them don't fit I'm gonna need to refold or like right now this box I put them in sideways which is not what I wanted to do the other box I kind of crammed them all in that way and then it's hard for the drawer to open so that was interesting so that was my last purchase. And then the last thing I have to share with you, I did a craft weekend with my sister. Instead of going away for the weekend, I just went to her house both days. And she had a craft for us. She asked if I wanted to do it. We both love gnomes, but we only like the gnomes that don't have faces and like don't have too much stuff on them. So she had found this pattern and video and we made, I have three of them. We made these cute little gnomes. They're made with socks. That's a purple sock. And their hats are flower pots, which I thought was so fun. So there's two that are the same size. We painted the flower pots, and then we did the flowers. Um, this one I put a fun little flower thing, like it's like it's in its hand, but it looks like it's over kind of far. And then, for the baby sock, I made this tiny one. I think they're adorable. Um, like I said, I don't like the ones that have, I don't like garden gnomes, outdoor gnomes, and I don't like ones with faces. These guys just have noses, and I think they're really cute. Um, I'm 
just going to show one other thing that I did, but I didn't grab it. I quite often, you saw in my calendar that I quite often work on more than one picture in a day. And in a week, I'll have those pictures all stacked up on my desk. And I was mixing up, trying to figure out the which floss ring went with which one, because some of them look similar. So today, I took one of my punches, and I punched out some colored cardstock, and then punched out some designer paper and put on the back of it. And on the cardstock, I wrote the name of the picture. And then I put that on my floss ring. And I don't see any right here. I just did it on the two pictures I was working on at the time. And they are... Is this one on? Ah, here's one. So, this is my punch. That's a pretty paper. And then on the back, I wrote... This is the Mousecapades and who it's from. So, this will help me... It adds a cute little decoration because it's flowered and pretty. Um, and this one has some of the floss drops that I've made also. But it'll help me to keep track of... Because these are kind of generic colors. And there's another picture I'm working on that also has generic colors that are very... Some of them are very similar. And that helped me to keep myself organized. Um, I think that's it all the notes I have written down. So that's all I have for you today. It is a little bit shorter. I've only gotten to not quite 27 minutes. And the dog hasn't barked. That's a good thing. He's laying here at my feet. I had to um, tie him up because as soon as I started to film, he, he found something outside to bark at. So he can't get to the window while he's laying here at my feet. He's happy. He just can't go very far. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.